Hi everyone, Ron here. In this video I want to go through using Scrivener in Windows and show you a way to compile your books better that will give you a lot more control and make your final Kindle book be a lot nicer looking. So let's dive in and, and go through this. In the tutorial we went through setting everything up and the process is the same except the one thing we're going to change is this front matter file. If you're a Windows user, you know there's some issues with that. For one, we can't change the icon. And the second thing that you're going to run into when you're creating your table of contents is that this table of contents page is basically useless. Um, it will create the uh, link. Well, I can't say link, but it's going to create a text that is the uh, title of your chapters, but it's not clickable. Scrivener in Windows is going to automatically create this table of contents for you, whether you like it or not, and it will be at the beginning of your book. The links will be clickable, but if you go ahead and make this table of contents page, you're going to have two table of contents, one that will have clickable links and one that won't. So the first thing we're going to do is just forget this table of contents because it's not going to work for us in Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and just trash that. Now the second thing is you want to have your copyright. Okay and so you can if you've already got a front matter folder and you've got your copyright that's fine. Just go ahead and take your copyright file and just drag it down so it's below your draft folder. Okay and then the front matter folder we're just going to get rid of that too. We don't need it. So next time you do your books, don't even mess with this front matter folder or a table of contents uh, file because they're not going to work for us in Windows. Just go ahead and um, when you're in your draft, just create a new text file here and put it right in below the draft. If you want to have forward or any other pages, just create them and put them under the draft folder. And then everything's the same. Make sure that, you know, the the uh, chapter titles that you want are all in here and you've got all your content in here so I've got all my pages all set with my titles and everything for my chapters okay once that's set we're going to go over to compile now you can do that by either going to um, file and compile or you should have an icon right here to compile go ahead and click that now when the compile box pops up it may be a small one like this we need to change a few more things so we need some more options so just click on this little blue arrow here and it will expand our box here so we have a few more options first thing we want to do is go take care of our content and like you were shown in the tutorial we need to just select the files that we want in our book we don't want all these empty pages here so if these are checked just hold down your alt button and click on the top one and that will deselect them all same with your page breaks and then we're just going to go through and select exactly the pages that we want with the page breaks so I'm gonna go ahead and get each one of my pages selected here with the page break and just one more here okay and we're all set there so I've got just the pages selected that I want then we can go through the rest of the options separators we don't need to change anything here the cover we're not going to worry about that here formatting now this is where we do have to change some things the way I like to set it up is I like to have the title of my chapter when you land on that chapter so in the first level here I'm going to uncheck title and make sure text is selected in the second level I'm going to leave title and make sure text is selected and in the third level I'm just going to have text so you want text selected in all of them and title in the second level and then I'm going to uncheck this override and text note formatting now once you've got all that set you want to in an empty space here right on the second level just click and when it's highlighted you'll see we now get a preview here and this is what I one thing I don't like if in your table of contents when someone clicks on a link and they land on that chapter in your book it's going to say chapter one and then your title title being whatever your title is here to me that looks like crap <laughs> uh, 
I like just having my title, not chapter one title, chapter two title. So there's an easy way to get rid of this. Once you've got this highlighted, you'll now see this modify button is active. We're going to go ahead and click that and you'll get another box here. And what you want to do is go right up here to the section layout. And once you click that, in the prefix here, you're going to see this little bit of syntax here. We just need to get rid of that. Now, you can't highlight it and just click delete because it will leave a little bit here. So I found just putting your cursor underneath of it and just backspacing out, and it's gone. Click OK. And now you'll notice that Chapter 1, Chapter 2, blah, 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 is gone. We just have the title of our chapters. Now once you've done that, you can go in here and on this little blue A here, you can select that and go ahead and change your text. Um, I like to use uh, Times New Roman here. So I'll select that, I'm going to bold it, and I'm going to make it 14. Okay, you can set it up however you like, and I'm going to click OK and OK. And it's going to give me this little warning here that my override text and formatting, that's fine. Just click OK. Make sure that's unchecked. And now you're all set. Now if you like this setup, or once you get it set up how you like it, instead of having to do this each time, save yourself a preset. Just go click Save Preset, give it a name, click OK. If you see here, I've already got one set. Once you do that, you're going to get a new listing here under My Formats, and I've named my No Chapter Text. Okay, and you can just click OK and it will do this for you. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is transformation. We don't need anything there. Replacements, footnotes. And I'm going to change one thing here. You're probably going to have this Kindle Gen and metadata because we were told to use the Kindy, Kindle uh, Mobi format. In metadata, we need to set that up. And you have to have the metadata. It is required. So you need a title, and I'm just going to name it the title of my book which is animals you will need an author so you can put whatever you want in there and the rest is optional it's up to you I'm gonna change my date here and then the last thing you need to do is we are going to change this we want to use ebook epub and now don't freak out I'm gonna show you with another piece of software <laughs> okay yeah another piece of software well, this piece of software is super simple to use. It's free, it's open source, and I think once you see what it can do, you're going to be happy. So stick with me here. So I'll set it at EPUB eBook, and then compile. Okay, and it's going to ask you where to save it. I've just got a folder named Compiled Books. Give it a file name. I'm going to just stick with what I'm doing, call it Animals, and I'm going to click Save, and it will compile it same as before okay and we're all set and if we go back to that folder you see that I now have a animals.epub okay so that's part one let's move on to the next piece of software and I'm going to show you how you can really make your book look nice and pretty and have a lot more control over those files okay the piece of software that we're going to use is named Sigil S-I-G-I-L I think that's how you say it and you can get that right over at code.google.com forward slash p forward slash cycle. I'll put a link for that. Once you get on that page, just go here to downloads and download the Windows setup. And there's also a user's guide here if you want to get into this piece of software a little more in depth. But we don't need to because I've downloaded the program, installed it, and that's it. I'm using it right out of the box. You don't have to set any options or do anything like that. Okay, so once you've got it installed, what we need to do is go here to File and Open, and we're going to navigate to where we saved that EPUB book. In my case, it was Animals EPUB in my compiled books. I'm going to select that and Open. And our book is now open in Cycle. And you probably didn't know this, but your book is basically just a bunch of HTML pages. Okay? But this is where things really get cool. You see I've got my table of contents, and remember, we didn't make one, but here it all is. There's everything I need in there, okay? And then I have all my different pages. Here's my copyright, my introduction, and each one of my pages. Now, there's one thing that, to start right off the bat, you may like your table of contents to be the first thing in your book. In my case, I like to have my copyright first 
in in uh, Scrivener we couldn't move this we couldn't move this um, contents it was the first page take it or leave it you know there's no choice here in Cygo we got the option to take this file and drag it and I can pull it down below any other pages so in this case now my copyright first is and then my table of contents and if you had some you know forward pages or any other pages that you wanted to show up first before your table of content this is where you can do it okay so there you go there's one cool thing right off the bat secondly is editing our pages for me in um, Scrivener when we, you compile your book you're gonna get a lot of white space above your title here in the Kindle reader that looks like crap okay so all we need to do is just put our cursor right above that and just backspace take that bad boy right up to the top and you can put it in front and you're set to go you can go in here it's a, got a full text editor you can go ahead and change all that make it bigger smaller whatever you like I'm gonna put a little space in between that and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to every page I want to get rid of all that white space that's above my titles okay so let me go through and finish up the rest of these pages and I'll be right back okay I went ahead and cleaned up all my pages now so I've got the white space out of all of them you've got everything arranged how you like now it's up to you if you want to get in if you're into code and all that you got a style sheet here you can this is basically an HTML editor what you see is what you get you don't have to know code or any of that you can just do what you want and you're set to go once you've got everything the way you want it all we need to do is go up here to file and save not save as but save and what Saigo will do is just basically overwrite our EPUB with all of our changes made okay so once we've done that if we go back into our folder here you'll see that we still have our book here nothing's changed I'm going to get rid of that but now the question is going to be well we need a Kindle dot Moby okay we we Kindle doesn't read EPUB okay so here is where our Kindle previewer which you should have already downloaded is going to come in handy I'm going to go ahead and close this down and open up your Kindle previewer okay and once we've got our Kindle previewer open all we need to do is go to file open book navigate to where that EPUB our animals EPUB book is select it and open Kindle is going to go through and compile it with the Kindle gen that you set up and turn it into our dot mobi okay and it's finishing up here and here is my book it's all set let me move it up here a little bit and if we scroll through here's all my pages now the thing is Kindle previewer really doesn't do this justice so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and I'm gonna go in here and now you'll notice if you come back into your folder put it right back in the same folder here's our animals EPUB but we also have a new folder now with converted animals EPUB if we open that up here's our new converted book in the dot Moby now it gives it a weird title here so before you upload it you're probably gonna want to go in here and get rid of all that extra titling that it put in there but we're all set let's go ahead and double click that and I've got Kindle on my PC here we'll go ahead and open that up and here's my book and it's all set it's nice and pretty if I go right to the top here you'll see here's my copyright for my first page and if I click we can go through we'll scroll down here there's my table of contents so here's my copyright my table of contents all the links work I can go back and I don't have that white space a lot more control and you can make your book look a whole lot nicer than we can just out of um, Scrivener so there you go I hope that was helpful and take care